Hi, and welcome to this Tech Talk. My name is Peter Dubois, and I'm a technical designer at Segeka. This video is the next episode in our series about integrating data between Microsoft Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement and Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Today, we are going to talk about integrating data using the Data Integrator. Now, what is the Data Integrator? It's an out-of-the-box, low-code integration infrastructure that provides batch-based integration for your data between customer engagement apps and finance and operation apps. So, how do you configure the Data Integrator? First, let's take a look at the system requirements. And the good news is that the Data Integrator works for all versions of finance and operations and customer engagement. And there's actually little to none setup to be done in finance and operations and customer engagement to start integrating. In customer engagement, you simply have to install a solution called prospect to cash or depending on your integration needs, you might have to install some other solutions. All these solutions can easily be found on Microsoft's app source. In finance and operations, there's actually no setup to be done at all. Once you're done with the setup, all configuration is done in the Power Platform Admin Center. There you can start creating your integration project and you can start from the many out-of-the-box templates that are provided by Microsoft or you can start completely from scratch. Depending on the integration template you have chosen, you will see that your project will already contain one or more integration tasks. These integration tasks can be seen as steps, a certain sequence that your integration needs to follow. For example, when integrating orders, it makes sense to first integrate the order header and then integrate your order lines. Figuring those integration tasks is done in a very handy designer. In this designer, you can easily add field mappings or remove them, add transformations, or add filters to your integration project. When you're done configuring your integration, you can choose to run the integration once, but obviously it makes more sense to make it recurring. This can also be done. You can set your integration to run every minute, every hour, or even every month. You can even optionally set an end date for the integration. Obviously, this all depends on your integration needs. While we are focusing in this video on integration between customer engagement and finance and operations, it's absolutely worth mentioning that the data integrator allows you to import data from more than 20 data sources into your dynamics. Just like Dual Right, setting up a data integrator project is a very easy and well-documented experience. Also, similar to Dual Right, it's out of the box and it's free, so there's no running costs whatsoever to use the data integrator. Another advantage is, although it's batch-based and it's not a real-time integration, you can schedule your runs or your executions with a one-minute interval. And if you enable change tracking in your systems, the updates can be incremental. This means that the system will only update records that have been modified since the last run. If you combine this incremental update mechanism, with the one minute interval, this results in a very fast and performant integration. Another advantage is that the data integrator is not tightly coupled or transactional across applications. This means that in case of an error in the target application, the user in the source application will never be blocked from doing his work. Again, similar to dual write, Microsoft provides a lot of out of the box building blocks for you to easily start your integration. For example, the prospect to cash scenario enables sales integration for your sales data going from prospect to invoice or the field service integration that allows integration in scenarios where you have field agents or field service agents servicing your customers on site. And even if you don't find something in the out of the box scenarios, there's still a lot of custom scenarios that you can implement. For example, even integrating data with Salesforce or Dynamics for Human Resources. Another advantage is that the Data Integrator allows you to put filters on your integration. This means that you can choose which records will be integrated and which records should not be synced. You can also add some basic transforms. For example, you have the value map, which means that if you get a value from the source system, the Data Integrator will transform that value into something else before pushing it to the target application. You have a default transform, 
which means that when you have no value in a field, the data integrator will add a default value before sending it to the target application. You also have a truncate transform. If you get a text that is longer than a predefined number of characters, the data integrator will cut it off, truncate it and send it to the target application. And you have the country region code transform, which is used to transform country names like Belgium to the ISO code that is needed in FNO, in this case BEL. However, where the same functionality is pretty limited when you use dual write, the data integrator provides a very good way to enrich or transform or filter your data. It's probably my favorite functionality in the application. It is possible to do advanced filtering and querying within the data integrator using a very powerful power query feature. This allows you to add complex data transformations, conditionally add columns, truncate your data, merge or split your data, applying filters and so on and so on. And as a bonus, this Power Query feature allows you to import data from a lot of different data sources. It allows you to import data from Excel, from a SQL Server, from JSON, from CS3, from XML files, and so on. And a final big plus is that everything is done in one place, the Power Platform Admin Center. This means configuring your integration, but also monitoring it. There's a complete execution history available which shows you the runs of your project with their project name, how many runs were performed, the status of the last run, and how many upserts or deletes the system has performed in your application. For execution errors, you can drill down to see the root cause of the error. This can be a data validation error, project validation error, or a system error. When a project goes into error or into a warning state, the system will retry the execution on the next scheduled, scheduled run. However, it's also possibly to manually do or rerun the execution after you have corrected any issues. And when all this information still isn't enough for you, there's an elaborate log of all the runs available in the data management workspace in finance and operations. Now that we have discussed some of the pros or advantages of the data integrator, let's take a look at some of the cons or pitfalls. The first point of attention isn't actually a fact, but more something that we ask ourselves. Although Microsoft states that the data integrator will be existing next to the dual write solution, we are actually wondering if that will be the case. We can already see on the Microsoft documentation website that they advise you to take a look at the dual write integration and change from data integrator to dual right. Although there's no official communication coming from Microsoft, there have been some rumors that the product team will minimize their development efforts for the data integrator. So we think that the data integrator will be deprecated sooner or later in favor of dual right. So that's something to take into account when considering using the data integrator for your integrations. A huge disadvantage of the data integrator is actually the application lifecycle management. Contrary to dual write, it's not possible to actually deploy an integration project from one environment to another environment. If you want to transfer a project from your development environment to a test environment, you actually have to create a project manually in the test environment using a template that you have created in a dev environment. This cannot be automated and requires a lot of manual input, a lot of manual intervention. And as we know, manual intervention means a greater risk for errors or issues. Similar to dual write, it's very important that your customer engagement consultants and your finance and operations consultants work together as a tandem in a joint project from the start. You need to look at the two applications as one system. If you start implementing your integration in a later phase, you are running into the risk that you have to adapt your design and your customizations to fit the integration. Another disadvantage is that it's very likely that the out-of-the-box mappings will not be an exact fit for your integration requirements. In some cases, if you're lucky, you can fix this by customizing existing mappings, but in most cases you will end up having to do custom development. This obviously has an impact on your budget and your timing in your project, 
but also on maintainability and configurability of your system. Another downside to using the data integrator, similar to Dual Write, is that all actions are performed within the context of an application user. Therefore, it's not possible to check which record a user is allowed to change in the target system when he's working in the source system. Another disadvantage is that you lose auditing capabilities because all actions, all modifications are locked in the context of that application user and not of the user that is actually doing the changes. Another challenge is that the data model often is very different between customer engagement and finance and operations. Microsoft is trying very hard to even this out when you're using Dual Write, but there's actually no signs whatsoever that they have plans to even this, uh, this difference in the data model out using Data Integrator. Another pitfall I'd like to discuss is that the integration is not aligned with the security concepts in CE. In your integration project, you need to map finance and operations legal entities to customer engagement business units. In finance and operations, the concept of legal entities is used to show your organization structure, while business units in customer engagement, they rarely reflect this business structure, but are almost exclusively used for security. And Microsoft does provide some integration patterns that you can use to map legal entities to business units, but we have noticed that most of those patterns do not fit real-time scenarios that our customers are dealing with. And Microsoft does provide some mapping patterns to map finance and operations legal entities to CE business units, but we have noticed that those integration patterns almost never completely fit the real-life scenarios that our customers are dealing with. And building on this previous topic, some multi-company integration patterns will require some creative development or some creative configuration. Let me give you some examples. Product in finance and operations can be defined on your customer's group level, and it can then be dispersed to several subdivisions or several sub-legal entities. This means that the product only exists once in finance and operations and is released to the legal entities. In customer engagement, this product should only exist once. Or another example, an account, a customer, should only exist once in customer engagement for your salespeople to use. However, in finance and operations, this customer can be present in several divisions, in several legal entities. It's not possible using the out-of-the-box functionalities to do this, so you will need some custom development. Another disadvantage is that, contrary to dual right, the data integrator is unidirectional. This means that for an integration product, you have to set a direction either from customer engagement to finance and operations or the other way around. You have to think about where do we want to create records? Do we want to create accounts in sales or do we want to create accounts in finance? There are some ways to make it sort of bi-directional, but again, this requires custom development and will have an impact on your time and on your budget. The fact that there's no validation at all when you're configuring your data maps is another small but very annoying issue. When you save your project, there's no validation if all key fields are mapped, if mappings exist double, or if there's any other mistakes in your mapping. Only when you run the project, after a couple of minutes, you will receive the project validation error. Obviously, this can slow down your project a lot. And last but not least, a very important one, the data integrator solution is not compatible with the dual write solution, which is a pity because it excludes hybrid scenarios where you might want to integrate some data in real time using dual write and other data batch based using the data integrator. Now, after having discussed some of the pros and the cons of the data integrator, what's our conclusion? The data integrator has proven to be a stable, and useful way of integrating your data between customer engagement and finance and operations. It's especially useful for scenarios where you don't need your data to be available straight away in your target application. Because the two applications are not tightly coupled, you can use the data integrator if you want the two systems to work independently, for example, in case of an outage or an upgrade in a target application. Or when you don't, don't want anything happening in the target application, to block the user from continuing his work 
in the source application. It's very likely that using the data integrator as your only platform for data integration will not be a perfect fit for your integration requirements. You can consider a hybrid scenario using the data integrator and, for example, Azure integration services. However, it's not possible to create a hybrid scenario using the data integrator and dual ride side by side. And I cannot stress this enough, the limited application lifecycle management and the question of future support from Microsoft for the data integrator are two very important considerations when designing your integration project. Finally, designing and configuring an integration scenario is not a simple task. As an experienced integration partner, we are very happy to advise you along the way. Please click the bell button to stay informed of our updates. Have a nice day.